Hey everyone, Alex here for Bright Dog Academy. If you'd like me to personally answer any questions you may have about your dog, be sure to head over to brightdog.com where you can learn about my online training program, plus pick up a copy of the official Bright Dog Academy ebook. First thing I want to talk about is heat and just some general rules and things to remember, okay? Number one is that dogs overheat much quicker than humans, okay? especially um, if your dog has a dark coat, okay? Black dogs, brown dogs will absorb heat much, much faster. And it is not uncommon for dogs to suffer from heat stroke. And, you know, dogs can get heat stroke at, at temperatures that you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't think would be dangerous. You know, even just uh, around 80 degrees. If you go for a walk with 80, in 80 degree weather, but in full sun, and this is for all dogs, not just dark coats. Um, it, that's enough to, to, to potentially trigger heat stroke, okay? So we always, this is a very, very important thing because this is something that can be completely prevented. I always avoid taking my dog out um, for walks, you know, mid-afternoon. From early afternoon to mid-afternoon when that sun is out. I know it's a beautiful day to us humans, but for our dogs, it is not comfortable, all right? Number one, are their, their bodies are absorbing all that heat, they face heat stroke. Um, the other thing you gotta keep in mind is how hot the ground gets, and they can very easily burn their pads of their feet, okay? If your dog is panting after two blocks, it's probably too hot for you to be taking them for a walk. Um, if you have to be wearing a short sleeve t-shirt and shorts to be outside walking your dog, it's too hot to be walking your dog. As a general rule, what I like to tell people is, if you wouldn't be comfortable wearing a coat while you're walking your dog, then your dog is not comfortable being walked in that weather, okay? So if it's 80 degrees out and you put your coat on and you go outside, if you think you're gonna to be too hot walking around, well, your dog is going to be too hot walking around, okay? So keep that as kind of a, a, a a general rule. As far as this thing goes with their pads, all right, um, you should be able to put your hand flat on the ground and hold it there for 10 seconds. If you can't keep your hand on the ground for 10 seconds, then that ground is too hot for your dog to be walking on, okay? Um, heat is a very dangerous thing and oftentimes the heat stroke, when you actually see the symptoms of it, it's too late. There's already been severe internal damage, okay? Um, if you are going to take your dog for a walk, I always recommend bringing a bottle of water and offer them, you know, water every 10 to 15 minutes. Keep them hydrated. Um, heat is very, very, very dangerous for, for dogs, okay? On the other spectrum, we have extreme colds, All right? Now, depending where you live, um, it can get pretty cold. I live in California, so we don't really have um, anything too extreme here, um, but for people who live in other parts of the world, it can get really cold to the point where it snows. So dogs are um, pretty good at staying warm. Uh, they can take fairly low temperatures. The time that I would can start considering it, you know, too cold for a dog to um, be outside would probably be around 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Um, that's the that's the, the time that if you have a dog that always stays outside, I would start bringing them inside, all right? Between, between around, somewhere around there, 40 degrees. Um, when it hits, you know, zero and it's freezing, they absolutely must be inside. Anything lower than 40, they, they probably should be coming inside. Snowing, they absolutely need to be inside. Way too cold for them. They can get hypothermia, get frostbitten, um, even if you have a little dog house for them. That's not enough, okay? So this is usually my, my limit. My dog has, uh, he goes in the basement and he has a dog door that goes outside. Um, you know, even, even if it outside is 40, the garage is still super cold. Even 40 degrees, even if it's a little warmer, maybe 45 degrees in the garage. If I go down there and I start to shiver and shake, he's, you know, my dog is probably too cold. So keep that in mind as well, all right? Because too cold of temperatures can be just as dangerous as too hot of temperatures, okay? So pay attention to the weather, um, pay attention to the activity you do with your dog, 
try to avoid the hot weather, try to, you know, avoid walking your dog in direct sunlight, walk in shade if you can, walk when it's cooler. Again, remember that tip, if you wouldn't be comfortable wearing a coat on your walk because you would get too hot, then it's too hot to be walking your dog.